Welcome back to Urban Fitness Friday Focus. So today's focus is going to be preparation for the Irish Open Jiu Jitsu tournament that's being held in Dublin tomorrow. Um, but these same principles can be applied to any competition that you've got to weigh in for, whether it be boxing, MMA or weightlifting, whatever it is, these are the same rules can apply. Um, one thing that I want to touch on before we go on with the video is, if you do need to cut weight leading into competition or you are going to cut weight, the sort of approach I would take with that would be a slow, um, long-term or fairly long-term approach where I would cut calories and I would advise people to keep proteins and keep carbohydrates as high as possible because the added carbohydrate is going to allow you to train at higher intensities leading into competition but it's also going to allow you to recover from your training sessions. A lot of people take the approach of minimizing carbohydrates or some people even take them out leading the competition and that's when they start training their hardest leading in and it's going to be a lot harder to train at the intensity you want to but then also to recover from that training as you go into competition and you don't want to go into your competition all burnt out uh, and overtrained. Okay, so one of the questions that came in during the week was, Joe, how are you going to structure your preparation for the Irish Open? Or how will you do it? Because um, I'm competing there myself tomorrow. So this is the situation that I'm in and how I'm going to structure my prep. So at the moment, I'm weighing in first thing in the morning at 90 kg. Now, I'm going to compete at 94.3 kg, but that's in the gi and belt, the full suit on. Um, so... When I put the gi on in the morning time then, I'm about 92 kg. So that gives me about two kilos to play around with in terms of fluctuation and food and water intake. Now, I don't intend to take in two kgs of food and water on the morning of the competition, and I'll explain to you why. But I'm in a fairly good situation that, um, that allows me some wiggle room, and I don't have to be, um, I'm not too worried leading into the competition. So what I will do then, as a result of this, the day before, it allows me to have a fairly normalized nutritional plan. So I can eat pretty much the same as I would on any other day leading into the competition. One thing you don't want to do the day before is have foods you're not used to having or have a lot of foods, like gorge on foods the day before. You, you, but you don't want to restrict either. So keep it fairly simple. The foods you know your body is going to react well to and, and don't do anything too crazy. Now obviously depending on your own situation in terms of weight will determine how much you can actually eat that day. Um, but generally overnight you can drop 0.5 kilos to 1.5 kilos. Um, so a really good tactic with this is leading into competition uh, a couple of weeks and months beforehand, just randomly weigh yourself before you go to bed at night time and then first thing in the morning after you've been to the toilet. And that gives you an idea of how much weight your body averagely drops consistently um, over uh, your eight hour sleep or whatever it is you're, you're in bed for that night. And this is good um, handy data to have then when you are going to competition and the night before competition. Okay, then what I will literally do on the day of competition is I'll have a nice light breakfast. It'll probably consist of two to three boiled eggs and a quarter cup of oats. So that's the uncooked weight. And I'll probably prepare that in a bit of water. Really, really simple and basic. I'll add some black coffee to this as well. Um, I'll minimize fats here as well. So you want to be going into competition with a, with a relatively empty stomach, but you want to have used simple fuels that are going to be easy for you to process while you're, you're competing. And that's why you keep fats generally low because it's not going to allow you to process that energy as as well as possible. Um, then once competition starts, it'll be all liquid fuel from there. So generally what I'll be doing is I'll be sipping on Lucozade Sport and some whey protein um, that I've made up. But you can make your own drink up uh, roughly consisting of uh, 25 grams of carbohydrates and 25 grams of protein. Now, outside of that, if you are worried about your weight on the morning of competition, what I suggest you do is this, is wake up and weigh yourself with the ghee on at home. And then whatever you plan on eating before competition, your breakfast, so what you, what, you turn, what you intend to eat and then what you intend to drink, hold it in your hands. And this is gonna let you know what roughly you will weigh after you've consumed the food. And it'll let you know whether you're gonna be below your weight or above your weight. And that's a really good tactic to use going into the competition or the morning of the competition. As always, keep your questions coming in for the Friday Focus. We will get them answered. And good luck to everybody competing in the Irish Open tomorrow.